Welcome everyone, this is Nichelle Anderson. I'm your host for my podcast show, Surviving Your Journey to a Success. Thank you so much for joining me today, where I am going to be talking about the way that, how to regain hope in a very stressful world. So it came to me to kind of focus on that and kind of get a better understanding of what that would be. So let's go ahead and get into this and see where it takes us, all right? Let's get started. And before I start, I like to always um, say an opening, which is basically a prayer that I give thanks to the prime creator of all things that this ability to be able to share and inform and to motivate and encourage others that I continue to do that in the greater good for all. And I am so thankful for that. So welcome my survivors uh, to my podcast show. And let's go ahead and get into this, all right? This is wrapping up my fourth year of podcasting, and I'm very excited about it. So let's get started. So how can we actually have hope in a stressful world? Everywhere you go, we have to worry about this and that. And we can get to a point where we will feel that it's not working enough that we should keep trying. And hope gives us that ability in our mind to, to say and to do that anything is possible. You just have to keep at it. But at the same time, you have to pace yourself and you have to feed your mind, your body that feeds your soul and your spirit. In doing that, you are more positive, forward moving. And when those downs come, you will remember, right? The steps that you need to take to wait it out and to keep moving, right? Because that's what life is. Life is moving. It's not standing still. So let's go ahead and start with, I have five that I'm going to kind of roll out and I'm going to talk about each. So the first one is, number one, you want to be mindful, okay? You want to be mindful of the negativity that is around you. Negativity could be definitely people. The other thing could be just activities that don't really hone on what you need to be doing. Maybe you're reading certain things and it doesn't make you feel happy or feel good at the end. Or uh, maybe it's uh, other things that are just not, it could be music, it could be, you know, going to a certain place and you surrounded by other people or not. you got to be able to detract that of how you feel when you're not around or doing certain things and weigh that out if it's worth it. You have to see the results. Okay, so number two is that you want to read positive words, like connect with people, especially with now with social media, there are a lot of motivational blogs and uh, Twitter accounts and Instagram and, and groups on Facebook or what have you, you know, join one of those that be able to highlight the things that you're connecting with, that nurture, that's what we have to do as humans, we have to nurture ourselves. And even myself, I've joined different groups that do different things in motivation to motivate me because it's a 360, as I like to say, 360 boo, is because it helps us to grow and helps us to regain, regain our strength to be hopeful for the things that we want in our lives that right now it might not have manifested, but it will. And it keeps you alive. That's what life is. It's hopeful. It's what you don't see. And in that meantime, you are enjoying and doing and being action forward that eventually it will manifest. So with that, let's move to number three, which is you want to stay active. Now, when I say stay active, it's not just with exercise. It's regarding to things that you can do. And I have said this before on my other podcast episodes. I'm going to repeat it because it works. When you stay active, you're not thinking about the negativity or the delays or the mishap or the unbalance. You're being active. Being active is moving forward. Because as we look at a metaphor that I like to do on my shows, a metaphor can be like a tree. And from the first seed until it keeps going and it keeps going and it pushes through the soil and it pushes through this and it keeps going and they say, you know what, I'm going to grow some branches and some leaves and what have you and it keeps going. Thank goodness because we need it for the air we breathe and the shade that we definitely need on that hot summer day. And 
it's constantly recreating another element for it to be that full grown tree. That's what you gotta do, the tree of life, you see? So being active is doing things that not only that you love, but it keeps your mind in a nice rhythm flow. If you ever, hopefully I pretty much know that most people that are listening have, sit back and just, and just watch the waves of an ocean open or open and the waves, you know, you really look at it and it's just moving from one side to the next and it kind of wraps around, especially if it's a pool. And then the wave keeps da da da, it constantly moving, right? And in that movement, it's moving forward and it's doing something. That's how you know, oh, I want to get into that pool. Give me a little refresh, right? Same thing with the ocean. <laughs> you can sit and you're on a boat and you're washing the sea waves, right? And then it stops and then it recycles again to another current, right? You want to get on your different current where it motivates you and you are creating things or being a part of a creative project or just doing things that you can relax. If it's just that you like reading and you like to drink you some tea or whatever in that um, realm of just having things that nurture your your mind body and soul and you're doing something that might be different or maybe it's the same thing but you're doing something that completes you that you're thinking in a different way that you're not focusing on something that you haven't received yet hope is where you haven't received it yet you, ha you haven't seen it but you have to know that you deserve it and that you feel that it will manifest. And when it's so stressful worrying about this and that in the world that you can't control, you can definitely control when you think that I am hopeful that it will manifest in my life at the right time. And I'm not going to focus on delays. No, I'm going to be more strategic in making sure that delays do not block the hope that's basically is the blessing that you're going to get and I need you to replay what I just said because you know how I am if you've been following me when I say that this came through replay it I want you to replay it three times what I just said because that's what you're going to hone on and your takeaway today all right I want to move forward number four you got to write it down you got to get a journal you got to write things down because that's another what action movement forward you write it down on a sticky note on your hand I don't know you put it somewhere that you know you can go back and you'll look at it and you remember it right words are power when you write it down that's another action moving you know when you turn it I don't know if you make cakes or you made cake before or whatever but you got the kept that's why people buy big mixers <laughs> to mix it and kept stirring around stirring around making that current all right, that current flow, and they keep doing it until they get that batter and that dough, the perfect context, con uh, texture that you're looking for. Right, that's life, and you have to keep at it and keep thinking that even though this is around me and it's stressful and I'm freaking out, or maybe you're not freaking out, and maybe you're depressed, or maybe you're not depressed, maybe you have anxiety, and maybe you don't. The bottom line is is that stress can really hamper your ability to believe in something that you have not seen yet, but you will. Number five, you need to say the words. Say these words, okay? And it's gonna be a phrase here, a sentence rather. The first one is, you're gonna say, I am somebody of worth to have the best life. To me, that's a powerful statement. When I wrote it, I said, this is the statement that I want my listeners that tune in and need that motivation. It's like I tune in to other places and they motivate me because what is the 360 board? It's giving. And giving meaning that you're not just there for yourself, you're there for somebody else because eventually, right, someone's going to give to you. I think um, when, I, when I grew up, to share that moment, we had like a it was some type of game we did or what have you but we had to be in a circle so I'm holding the next person to my right hand and then my left hand is holding someone else's hand and so if you look at that and a circle as it can repeat itself that's the 360 so you have to be able to think in that way and what you do and interact with people 
So, and you also have to make sure that you be respected. So to do that, that's why I say that you need to say that I deserve the best because I give the best out. I do the 360. And by doing that, you're more empowered and motivated to say, I am hopeful for what I have not seen yet, but I know that it will manifest. Period. The second thing I want you to say is, I am hopeful. You can either say these sentences separate, or you can say it together. Right? I am somebody of worth to have the best life. I am hopeful. Let's say that again. I am somebody of worth to have the best life. I am hopeful. And in that, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for following my podcast show. Thank you for sharing my podcast show. I am on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash Michelle Anderson. And my website, michelleanderson.com. Sign up for my newsletter. I do perform webinars <laughs> and uh, motivational type things like that. And just sign up to the newsletter to be attuned of when I roll out the next one. I will soon be taking my summer break for three months. And you want to be a part of that and what's going down. So nonetheless, I will be having a live show of a podcast soon. I really enjoyed the ones that I did for the first time. And I'm looking forward for my fifth season in podcasting. And uh, I just want to say thank you. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And have a good one. All right.